Before you cross the street, you better look both ways, or we'll throw you in the pokey for a dozen days. And all around the county, every woman and man knows we'll pull you over just to play our banjo. The Police Accountability Report, brought to you by CopLock.org. CopLock is a decentralized project supported by a diverse group of individuals united by their shared goals of police accountability, education of individual rights, and the dissemination of effective tactics to utilize while filming police. And that's the plan, Joe. Throw you in the can, Joe. From cloudy Phoenix, Arizona, this is your CopLock News for the week. Another senseless act of cop-on-canine violence occurred in the Atlanta area where a Clayton County police officer shot and killed a family dog as it barked in the front yard. According to WSB Radio, the victim was identified as a 7-year-old golden retriever named Boomer. The dog was not on a leash but was in his front yard about 25 feet in front of the home. Owner Jonathan King said, I feel like my friend was murdered in my front yard. The officer, who remains on the job, was in the King's neighborhood after someone reported a suspicious person in the area. Please note the report said, suspicious person, not dog. Evansville, Indiana Police Department detectives are investigating a fight between Officer Jason Henry and retired Sheriff's Deputy Ken Tedisco. The fight happened at a fraternal order of police lodge. According to the reports, the 60-year-old Tedisco allegedly approached Henry in a threatening manner, but it was Henry who struck Tedisco. The retired sheriff ended up with lacerated chin and a swollen eye. Henry could face a felony charge of battery causing serious bodily injury if charges are filed. The most shocking part of this report is that they were both (gasps) drinking. According to the Louisville Examiner, Officer Jackie Hollinsworth has been fired for lying about expenditures for a youth event at a local high school in 2006. Hollingsworth had a large amount of evidence stacked against her, stating that she had misappropriated almost $15,000 from the Louisville Black Police Officers Organization. Besides depositing funds into her own account, she also admitted to writing a $1,000 check to her son, Dershawn Barlett, who is now in prison for murder. Police investigators complained that one of the reasons the case has dragged on for five years is that the attorney's office kept asking them to go back and get even more evidence. This week, Ethan Lee Vita, the Liberty on Tour hitchhiker, stopped by Phoenix on his journey back to New Hampshire. Ethan is traveling the country and looking for agorist businesses that need advice and reporting on unique situations he encounters. We sat down with Ethan and had him go over his most recent experience. Recently, I was uh, visiting Vegas as part of Liberty on Tour, and going through the Strip, I noticed there were a lot of cops, more than past times I'd been through Vegas. Incidentally, they were all in front of the uh, casinos. I was also talking to Mario Torres of the Water Vendors, and he was talking about the harassment as usual. This got me thinking, and talking to a local Vegas anarchist, I started inquiring as to the nature of the cops in the casinos. And, not surprisingly, turns out that the cops are funded by the casinos for overtime pay, up to uh, $65 an hour for overtime compared to the 11 to $16 an hour private security gets, and triple time for holidays. One major reason for this is obviously because of the cops' unaccountability, so the casinos have an advantage with those for pretending to have defense so that they can murder, torture, kidnap, and thieve from them. As, in addition, the casinos have the ability to thwart competition, um, such as the water vendors and kicking them off their property that they gained from the power of the state. If you want to find out more about this story, there is uh, libertyontour.com with much more information and a uh, solution for what one can do to defend oneself against these casino cops. That's it for this edition of the Police Accountability Report. This is Nick. And this is Chloe. Keep it right here on LRN.FM for more liberty-oriented programming. Connect with us at copblock.org slash contributors or send us an email at copblock at gmail.com. When you're in our county and you want to drive, just remember to go 55. Because all around the county, every woman and man knows we'll pull you over just to play our banjos. <laughs>